All right, what's up everyone? Sean here and welcome to this video that I wanted to make uh, regarding to uh, Niantic who are uh, the, the developers of Pokemon Go, the you know big old popular uh, gaming app, uh, mobile game app on you know the smartphones and stuff like that including iOS and Android. Uh, there's been ha there's been some really rough times uh, right now with Niantic. They're, they're they're you know doing their best to respond to all the complaints and feedback uh, from all the players of Pokemon Go, and uh, there's been a, one of those huge complaints was the fact that they uh, took down the PokeVision uh, websites, which basically helps uh, people look uh, look up uh, the exact location for Pokemon. And even uh, specific Pokemon they're looking for, and it, it, it essentially uh, helped people, you know, go, uh, go to the exact same that go to the exact park and get that uh, uh, a specific Pokemon that they're, that they're looking for. And they went ahead to take down uh, those sites. Uh, meanwhile, their tracking system is pretty much not usable. So I actually have the exact response from Niantic straight from Twitter, and I'm, I just pulled it, pulled it up on my phone. So you're gonna have to excuse me for my reading. So uh, I do my best. As some of you may have noticed, we recently rolled out Pokemon Go to Latin America, including Brazil. We are very excited to finally be able to take this step. We were delayed in doing that due to aggressive efforts by third parties to access our servers outside of Pokemon Go, a game client in our terms of service. We blocked some more of those attempts yesterday, since there has been some public discussion about this, so that's pretty much the complaints. We wanted to shed some more light on why we did this and why these uh, seemingly innocuous sites and apps actually hurt our ability to deliver the game to new and existing players. The chart below shows the drop in server resources consumed when we blocked uh, scrapers or scrappers. Uh, freeing those resources allowed us to proceed with the Latin America launch. And the second paragraph. In addition to hampering our ability to bring Pokemon Go to new markets, dealing with this issue has also uh, also has opportunity cost. Developers have to spend time controlling this problem versus building new features. It's worth noting that some of those tools, or some of the tools, used to access the, the servers to scrape data have also served as platforms for bots and cheating which negatively impact all trainers. There is a range of motives here from blatant commercial ventures to enthusiastic fans but the imp negative impact on the game resources is the same. So basically uh, these Pokemon Vision like websites uh, for those who don't know actually use the servers directly from Pokemon Go. And according to their wording, that actually cost them resources so they couldn't really do anything to add new features or do whatever it is they, they wanted to do. And also, it was pretty much like an open door for other websites or sources to actually get in and cause some negative impact on uh, the, the game and the uh, developers overall. And, it, and of course, everyone that's playing them. So overall, um, I, I initially complained about the uh, Pokemon Go developers taking down those sites. But however, because it, you know they provided this kind of feedback, it it kind of makes sense. It, 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 it does add up. And I think in my opinion, this feedback is uh, gives all the, all the reasons, uh, enough reason for them to rightfully take down those sites and therefore, you know, they, uh, they shouldn't be given that much hard time, you know, for, for having to take down those sites. I think they've uh, re responded reasonably and they re uh, provided a clear enough answer to, you know, uh, to this to this problem. And um, there, I mean, there are some st uh, still, you know, questions to answer that they, that they need to do. Um, I mean, first off, this, this graph doesn't provide any numbers and people kind of pointed that out. On Twitter, um, and uh, there are and there are some bugs that have you know come up, such as the catch rate being completely messed up. Um, you know, for, for example, uh, a CP10 Pidgey takes five balls at least before it gets catch uh, captured, 
which is really ridiculous. And, you know, it, it, yeah, back then it just took one, which is really simple. It's, you know, uh, good to you know, good to collect starters from that and possibly candies for, for, for um, to power up your Pidgeot or whatever. Um, that's been really, uh, that's been really making things hard on the players and, um, especially when you catch or trying to catch the rare Pokemon such as, you know, I don't know, a Dragonair. Um, I, I ran into a Dragonair recently nearby the beach and I was trying to catch it, but it was just so hard with just Pokeballs because I was already, you know, out of Great Balls and Ultra Balls. And this bug definitely made things a lot harder. And um, and even the, the easiest Pokemon to catch made things hard as well, which is absolutely ridiculous but um they are they have admitted it and they are trying to work on it and you know um the antic i will give them um as much credit as uh as as needed but fortunately the antic is aware of that problem they actually they actually admitted it on twitter and they are currently trying to work on that so it's just it's really good that the antic actually cares about the players of pokemon go despite being a free app you know, it's it's actually uh, really good to see something like that from even even companies like this. And we have to cut them slack because Niantic is relatively new to this market. Uh, they've actually re developed only one other game before, and this is definitely the biggest game they've you know they put out there right now. And it's actually one of the biggest apps on the market. So, you know, I um, I completely understand that it's difficult to get around all the the, the complaints and the problems that the game has uh, right now but you know they're slowly trickling at it and the biggest thing right now is the tracking system and they, they are of course aware of that and they are trying to work on something or at least bring back the three-step system and you know again they're just trying to do their best to answer all the complaints and feedback that they received over the course of the game's launch. So pretty much that's what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to help clear the air for Niantic um, on the behalf on their behalf because I love this game myself. Uh, I, I have a lot of fun playing this um, despite being a mobile game. Again, I'm not a huge mobile game guy, but this is absolutely one of the one of the most fun I've had for an, uh, a, a mobile game. And of course, it has Pokemon in it. So you know, how, how could I not uh, how could I not play this? And uh, you know, again, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I want the best out of this game, just like a lot of people out there. So um, that's pretty much it on this uh, situation from Niantic, and with the whole Pokemon tracker sites taking being taken down. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys uh, were remotely interested in what I had to say and my opinion on this situation. Uh, if, you have, if you have any comments on this situation or opinions, thoughts, anything. Uh, you, you, you can leave them down in the comment section below and I love to uh, take a look at them. Uh, and also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It uh, really helps out the channel and I highly, highly appreciate it. Um, of course, this is also a reminder, I do have a Patreon. I will, uh, the link is in the description box below. Uh, it's just typical, it's, it's basically a tipping page. Um, you don't have to do it, it's not obligated, but it's much, much appreciated. So uh, you can leave any amount per month, uh, even like a dollar or even a couple of cents, um, you know, that kind of thing. So um, if you uh, if you guys uh, are considering it, thank you so much. But again, it's totally up to you guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Sean out.